Hello there, and welcome to the clinic. So we recently looked at the Ishihara colour vision test and we learned that it checks for red-green colour defects but it is not the best at grading the severity of your colour defect or for monitoring acquired colour defects. So putting that test to one side, going a little bit further and also bearing in mind that the Ishihara doesn't check for your blue-yellow tritan defects. We can then consider the City University colour vision test housed in this protective binder with all the print there. Okay. It is easily identifiable in any optometric practice. It consists of two parts. So for part one, this is where we screen for a colour defect. Okay, I will mark your answers in these blocks here and give you a final score. There's a little bit of further information that we'll discuss as I show you the test. At the top is where I put all your important information, your name, address, examiner. Now the most important part here is stating whether we've done the test with both eyes open, right or left. If we're thinking about whether somebody has an acquired colour defect, one they're not born with, we'd have to perform the test monocularly through just one eye, by checking the right eye and the left eye, because the colour defect, if it's acquired, may vary between the eyes. If we're thinking about a congenital colour defect, which means you were born with it. We can perform the test with both eyes open because the colour defect will affect each eye the same in congenital cases. Okay. So let's show you part one of the City University test. The screening part, I'm going to show you three spots. I want you to answer or tell me which spot looks different in colour to the other two or if all the spots look equally the same shade. Okay, so that is the first part there. So the answer is for normal they all look the same shade. Now here all subjects, regardless of having a colour defect or not, should answer that the top looks different in shade to the other two. Okay, we're down to the bottom left here. Okay, for normal colour vision, we should say that they all look the same shade. And to here, the answer for normal colour vision should be the middle looks different in colour to the other two. Okay. Now if you had a triton defect, you may miss this one. You may not give the answer of the middle with a triton defect. Okay, plate number two. Starting with the top left, just there. For normal colour vision, we would say they all look the same. That should be the answer there. And here, for normal, we should answer that the top looks different in shade to the other two. If you had a red-green defect, you may miss this one. Bottom left, please. For normal colour vision, this looks different in shade to the other two. And 
red green defective may miss this one bottom left normal color vision individual should answer that the middle is different in color and if you had a tritan defect you may miss this one number three starting top left again for normal we would say they should say they all look the same shade and here a normal should answer the middle is different a red green defective may miss this one bottom left there Okay. The answer is for normal, the top is different in shade. A red green defective may miss this one again. And here, a normal should answer that they all look the same shade. Okay, the final plate of the screening part. Plate number four, top left please. The answer is that the bottom for normals is different. Normal should answer here that the shades all appear the same. And here, tritons may miss this one, but for normals they should answer the top. Okay, and for the final one, normal color vision individuals should answer that the middle is their selection but with a red green defect you may miss this one okay so that is part one okay so for part two of the city university test if someone may have failed part one we will then move on and attempt to classify somebody's colour defect as being proton, deuton or triton. And all the answers will be recorded here, scored at the bottom and classified. Okay. So, the first plate is a demonstration plate. which spot closely matches the colour of the central spot from the four peripheral ones. Everybody should be answering top closely matches the colour of the middle spot. And that is how part two works. Right. Okay. Now we're on to the real thing. which peripheral spot closely matches the colour of the central spot right, left, top or bottom ok, so the correct answer for normal colour vision individuals should be that the right is the correct answer Okay. A close look at the peripheral spots and select one that closely matches the colour of the central one. For normal colour vision we should be answering this is the closest matching shade. Okay, plate seven is here. Have a good look. Okay, your answer should be for normal colour vision that the right spot closely matches the central one for colour. Okay. Have three more to go. Plate eight. 
smaller spots here, a little bit of extra work required. Okay, so the answer should be for normal colour vision, the left closely matches the central one. Two more to go. Okay, a little bit tricky there, even for normals. But your answer should be that with normal colour vision, it is the right one that closely matches the central one. Okay, and for the final one. Again, for normal colour vision, you should be answering right, closely matches the central spot for hue. Okay, so that is the City University colour test. If you felt as if you had any problems, just book an eye test with your optometrist. I'm just going to leave the answers there in case you wanted to check what category you may have fallen into. Okay, so that is everything. I will see you again in the clinic next time.